Alec Baldwin was snapped Monday in East Hampton, New York getting something to eat in the midst of the most recent improvements in the October passing of Rust cinematographer Helena Hutchins. The entertainer, 63, wore a puffy dark coat with dim jeans and dark shoes and had his hair brushed to the side on the workday excursion in the luxury territory of New York. The 30 Rock entertainer was seen having lunch while situated on a seat on the colder time of year workday. He had a sack of food and drank Dr. Earthy colored soft drink on the daytime excursion. The Glengarry Glen Ross star was recently spotted going out for espresso in New York City on Saturday, as a New Mexico DA uncovered it was conceivable the entertainer could have discharged the projectile that eliminated Rust cinematographer Helena Hutchins without pulling the trigger. The leading edge disclosure by Santa Fe District Attorney Mary Carmack Altweis comes only days after Hutchins' family sued the overwhelmed entertainer, guaranteeing he is in, finished forswearing of his part in her passing and is, accusing others, over the October 21 shooting. The killed cinematographer's family additionally guaranteed Baldwin isn't tolerating any liability regarding her unexpected passing last year and noticed that he rejected any firearm well-being preparing number one. Carmack Altweis let Vanity Fair know that it was conceivable the weapon that killed Hutchins went off without Baldwin pulling the trigger, as he had recently asserted in a December interview with ABC. I didn't pull the trigger, Baldwin said at that point. I could never point a firearm at anybody and pull the trigger at them. Never. The DAW said she asked a specialist for the situation to bring their own pistol and directed an informal test with two autonomous investigators who ensured the firearm was unfilled. One of the specialists in my office ends up having an exceptionally old sort pistol, thus he brought it, at my solicitation, so we could take a gander at it and check whether that was at all conceivable, Carmack Altweis told Vanity Fair.